Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Ashley Nicole and today I decided to film this Coachella slash music festival look. Just basically perfect for any outdoor music festival or any summer occasion when you just feel like looking like a hippie, I guess. Yeah, everything I am wearing I have listed in the description bar, even down to the headband and the sequins, all that stuff, and of course the makeup products. So if you guys have any other questions, please leave them in the comments below. Also, please make sure to like and subscribe this video. And yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed this tutorial. I had a lot of fun making it. So without any further ado, let's get right into it. Hi guys, so let's get right into the tutorial. As you can see, I've already done my face and my eyebrows, so I want to just jump right into the eyeshadow because this is kind of going to be like an experimental look. Um, I've not tried out this look, um, but I was inspired by this picture here. I hope you guys can see it. Like this monochromatic purple look. Look, I'll try to find out the girl's name and link it in the description bar below. But basically, I'm just going to be just taking inspiration from that photo for this like festival look. And I have some like details and all that stuff which you guys have seen already in the intro. So yeah, let's get right into the look. For this look, I am using one palette, um, which I hope you guys appreciate because I'm not really a big fan of this palette. This is the Tardis Pro Palette. It's a little chalky, I'm not gonna lie. But it's got some of the colors that I need, so I'm gonna make it work. So starting off, I'm using my matte paint pot to set as a base. And if you are going to a festival, this is crucial because this is how your eyeshadow stays on. I'm using the color Classic from the TARDIS palette and just setting my lid. Now getting started, I'm taking a Morphe 518 brush. And like I said, this is a little more experimental, so I'm just looking at the palette and just going to see what colors I want to use. She did have a nice transition color in the picture, so I'm going to start with the color Whimsy, which is like this brick red color, um, and mix it with this mod color, because she had like a pinky transition that was like the only non-purple look in the whole look. But yeah, I'm going to try this one out and just put it in my transition. And I'm taking this into the inner corner, like deep in the inner corner. The next color I'm going to take is called Fierce from the TARDIS palette. It's like this plummy purple look and I'm just going to pop that right underneath. Using another Morphe 518 brush. Now taking a MAC 217 brush, I'm going to use the color No Filter, which is a darker plummy color. I'm just going to pop that under that last color and then just like blend it out from my outer V. So you'll see. And I like this color a lot. So the palette's kind of behaving today. Normally it doesn't. I don't know. I've taken a little bit of the color Drama, which is a dark plum color, and I've just popped that like right underneath for an extra pop of purple, because there is a really purpley look. And you know, for like festival looks, you want to keep it a little grungy too, so if you're not totally neat, it's okay. Now I'm just going to blend out my transition color and just neaten up like this top portion before I cut my crease. I'm just using an Eco Tools brush. This is just a little cleanup work before we do the ultimate cleanup work with the concealer. So it's like the calm before the storm. So just making sure we're blending in all these colors. When you're working with darker colors, you want to make sure that you clean up your work as you go because if you wait to the end, you're just going to look like a raccoon. <laughs> And if you need to, pop some more color in that transition if you've lost some of that intensity. Alright, now to cut our crease. So I've done this in so many videos, so if you need to go back and watch one of my prior videos, cutting my crease is really simple. I'm using my LA Girl Pro Conceal. Yet again, I'm going to just speed this part up. Okay, so now that my crease is cut, I'm going to just set it with the color that I want for like my for like my intensity. I'm using this eyeshadow from Anastasia. It's called Electro. It's like this 
really neon-y pink color, but it goes on looking a little more purple. So I think it's really pretty for this look. And it's comparable to the photo that I'm using for inspiration. Yeah, I think it's about accurate. I'm taking this Morphe M421 brush, and I'm going to just pack it on. That's so pretty. Hold I like this brush because it's super detailed, and you can get in to all the little crevices. Leave the edges jagged while I'm cutting my crease because I wanted to blend in with a darker color. I'm going to go in and break up like this line of demarcation. It drives me nuts, but that's why I do it because I hate like when a cut crease just goes from super light, super dark. It just drives me nuts. And to clean up that crease area, I'm just using this e.l.f. small angled brush and taking the color Whimsy again and just like tracing around um, the purple color just to make it super neat. Now to break up that intensity, I'm using the color Minx from the palette on a small Morphe 205 brush going right in where I, I like frayed the line. You should have something that looks like this. And now I'm just going to go line my eyes and pop on some falsies and then I'll be right back and then we're going to do some highlighting and then the fun will we'll start transforming this until our ready to go festival makeup look. Hi guys, I'm back. So as you can see, I've lined my eyes just using my NYX matte liner and I've popped on some falsies. Here's the falsies that I use. I'm actually going to show you guys the box. Just the Eyelor Gilded Collection ones. They're super dramatic and super affordable. I really like them. I've also just popped some color underneath my lid. I used the color Mod under my waterline. And I've also just taken uh, my Black Jordana pencil liner. And I've just filled that in as well. So now it's time for some highlight. I'm just going to use my Anastasia Nicole Guerrero palette. I'm using this Eco Tools brush like I often do. And we're going to make this a colorful look. It's a festival look. So let's have some fun. I'm using Kitty Cat and Forever Lit. Two of the more extreme color ones. Popping that first on my cheek like, oh my god. Y'all see that? Like, let's get vibrant. That doesn't make any fucking sense. That doesn't make any fucking sense. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, if you go overboard, just take a beauty blender and fix that. Bridge of my nose and taking forever lit and 143. Just going down the bridge of my nose. Oh my god. Just a, like a line. Leave your house like this. Now for lips, I already have my primer on, my lip primer, so I'm going to just put on some of this Anastasia Liquid Lip in Crush. Keeping with the purple theme, I'm taking this NK Lip Liner and I'm just going to fill in my lips. And now because I like it extra glossy, I'm just going to pop that same lip primer on okay so now at the time where we can just have some fun we're going to use some stickers because it's a festival look I've seen a lot of festival looks just doing my research for this makeup tutorial and I saw a lot of girls using like stars and sparkles so I just went to Hobby Lobby and I got um some accoutrement so yeah there's no rhyme or reason to this I also got this headband that I will be wearing in the final look Want to cut these up I feel like a little kid or about even this is actually a good alternative if you're not feeling like drawing on like abstract shapes and stuff which i've seen some girls do i don't have the dexterity for that though so it ain't happening
So now for the final accent piece, I'm going to do my hair and then put on this like headband and then you'll see the whole outfit and look. I hope you guys like this tutorial. So let's get right to the end. Okay guys, so here is the finished product. I hope you guys enjoy this. I just put on the headband and I'm just wearing this Fashion Nova like bodysuit, nothing really too fancy. I'm going to pair this up with some shorts as you guys have seen in the beginning of the video and that's really all there is to it. I really hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you guys try out this look for whatever music festival that you do plan on attending. And until next time guys, I hope you enjoyed and thank you. Also please like and subscribe to my channel for some more tutorials.